So Weavile is currently undergoing a suspect test in the Generation 9 underused ladder. The test will conclude on the 27th of October and I have done my part. I'll be giving a say as to whether this Pokemon should be banned in the underused tier or not. I'm making this video just to give you my thoughts and opinions as to whether or not I believe Weavile should be banned. This video will be a a very grand summary of what a majority of the tier is feeling regarding Weavile in underused. So if you're not in the mood to read all of the reasons that they want to host a suspect test run and all the deep calculations as to why Weavile is broken or not, enjoy this video as we discuss exactly why. What is up folks and I welcome each and every one of you to another Pokemon discussion video. Today, not a very long one at all, Weavile finding itself Hitting the ban hammer in the unused tier once more. In my opinion folks, this Pokemon needs to go. And there are two main reasons. The primary reason why Weavile needs to go is the speed stat. Weavile is faster than every unboosted Pokemon in the unused tier. It's the fastest in the tier. It's faster than some Pokemon like Jolly Tyranitar after a Dragon Dance. Weavile still outpaces you. But that's the main reason why Weavile needs to go. But speed is good, speed is king, like they tend to say. But there's no point in having all that speed and not pose a threat. The dark and ice stab combination. A very defensively weak typing, which has its defensive use cases here and there, I might say. Offensively, it is a type combination that is a nightmare to deal with for a majority, if not the entire, unused tier. We have Pokemon in the unused tier with much higher attacking stats than 120, which is what Weavile possesses. Pokemon like Choice Scarf, Hoopa Unbound, its monstrous 160 attacking stat, is something that the community does not really mind in the underused tier for now. I recently did a poll on my community page and most of the people that follow the underused content are actually quite okay with having Hoopa around in the tier. The decision was quite split, quite tremendously I might add, but most people feeling that Hoopa is manageable, but as discussed, the ice and dark type combination, the moves that are being thrown off, are the problem. One reason that people are not happy with Weavile being in the unused tier is that it puts a large strain on the team builder, many bulky Pokemon that you use to stave off other aggressive Pokemon on your team are weak to Weavile. Weavile with the triple axel and knockoff combination scares out a large slew of bulky Pokemon. Clodsire, weak to the ice typing. Hydrapple will fall to all the triple axels all day every day. Petrant is not really going to be KO'd by the knockoff but still will have to be afraid of losing its item and taking a large chunk of damage. Skeletor just used to check almost every boosted physical attacker in the tier and losing your item makes it more difficult to switch into the hazards. Scared of the dark type. Enderbice might even live a triple axle at max defense and certain ranges and certain roles, but you do not wish for your Mandibus to be chunked so tremendously with, with the click of one button. And Tornadus Therian, no matter how quick you desire to run your Tornadus, it is always going to be slower than Weavile and has to run in fear of the triple axle. Triple axle itself is a very, very powerful move. If all three kicks land, the base power is 120. For those of you that know, Triple Axel has 20 base power on the first attack, 20 base power on the second attack, and 60 base power on the third kick. Combine that with Stab, Ice, with Weavile being an Ice type, that boosts the power of this move to 180. Even Resists are not going to want to switch into this Pokemon if it's going to throw for Triple Axel. So if the defenses are not working, why not just offense? Well, that's the thing, as discussed, Weavile's speed is the highest among every unboosted Pokemon in the tier. Many offensive minded Pokemon, which are quite quick, are scared of Weavile. Latios, for example, has to run from both stabs. Metagross does not appreciate the knockoff, it can never switch in. Ogapon sturdy is invalidated by the triple axle. Superior, with all his glare and leaf storm boosting antics, is a triple axle victim. You cannot even hide behind the safety of the substitution. Thunderous Therian, for all its special attacking power, the fact that it's so much slower than Weavile means that it will never feel comfortable being in front of a Weavile or switching into a Weavile for that matter. A very very difficult Pokemon to outpace. There are however many bulky Pokemon that are neutral to some of Weavile's attacks. 
as discussed. The fact that the move that is being clicked is a powerful stab knockoff is what makes Weavile very difficult to deal with. Lissy can take on many of Weavile's attacks, sometimes even a boosted knockoff depending on your IVs and but if knockoff is clicked and you are to lose the heavy duty boots that Blissey so relies on, stacking hazards which is not a difficult thing to do in this generation with the limited distribution of defog and ghosts being reliable spin blockers with the removal of pursuit, Blissey will quickly find its time becoming uncomfortable, meaning every switching that Blissey does to wall a special attack is going to burn through, it's either going to consume a lot of soft boil PP, which you only have 8 of, or your Blissey will be chipped down to the point where it can no longer wall anyone. Heatran for example, is forced to run Flame Body. If you get knocked off and you lose your leftovers, Heatran has no reliable recovery and you'll find yourself having the rocks chip you down quite quickly. I know Flame Body seems to proc when you need it the most, but never forget that it's only a 30% chance which is not that high. It only takes one knockoff to be thrown off. Skarmory with the Rocky Helmet may seem to be a answer. It's got that sky high defenses and is not weak to any of Weavile's stabs and can threaten it back with a powerful body press. And Skarmory does possess means to raise its defenses to make his body press even harder. But don't get your hopes up, folks. All it takes is one knockoff to get rid of the Rocky Helmet and rocks chipping into Skarmory will make Skarmory's life very uncomfortable. If Weavile is to grab a free Swords Dance when it manages to scare out a Pokemon, which is not a difficult ask, the power of a Terra Ice Boost to Triple Axel will do so much damage to Skarmory and if Skarmory is your physical wall on your team, taking such a large chunk from a Pokemon you're supposed to beat is unacceptable. So as you can see folks, Weavile does scare out a large number of Pokemon. It forces a lot of progress with its knockoff. And all the Pokemon that Weavile is tasked to beat are actually quite popular and prominent. All of you might be screaming at this point, Cobalion, Cobalion. What about Cobalion? Rocky Helmet Cobalion resists both stabs and, the, and Justify gives it plus one attack when it sponges the knockoff. But here's the thing folks, Pokemon Singles is a 6v6 battle. There are many popular Pokemon that Weavile can be partnered with that can destroy the Cobalion or chip it down. So that at the later point, when the Cobalion can no longer keep up, even the, the resisted Triple Axel can pick off a weakened Cobalia. Pokemon such as Choice Scarf, Okie Doggy, which is very popular in the tier. Excadrill being chief among them, being number one used. If you Terrestrialize into a ghost type and Earthquake them into the dust, of course the Cobalion won't be KO'd, but good luck answering the Weavile if that was your choice. So there we have it, folks. If you are neutral to Weavile stabs, the knockoff will annoy you. And many of the Pokemon that are neutral are not bulky monstrosities at that. Weavile's typing and attacking moves put a large strain on a large number of reliable, necessary Pokemon in the underused tier. You have to dive very, very deep and have hyper-specific IVs and EVs to answer the Weavile. Things such as defensive Tinkerton or bulky Azumarill could be a choice for you to use. You may notice we didn't talk about Pokemon such as Scizor and Lokix to check the Weavile. But in practice, you will find folks that Weavile first of all does have the upper hand attack, meaning all priority versus it could potentially be null and void. And your Pokemon could end up taking a large chunk of damage rather than KOing the Weavile. And secondly, as discussed, it's a 6v6 game. These Pokemon are not counters to the Weavile by any stretch. So in my opinion folks, Weavile needs to go. It's very very difficult to, to answer without having to hope for the appropriate terrestrialize on your defensive monster or flame body burn from the Heatran at the most opportune time. Let me know what you think about Weavile in the comments down below. Do you believe it is a necessary evil in this tier? People are overhyping how valuable it actually is in the tier and there are answers and people are just lazy to look for them. I've seen some pretty interesting ideas of using Weavile with chilly reception on Sloking, ensuring that you get a defense boost in the snow, meaning that you could potentially even live a Scizor Bullet Punch. But what other ideas on Weavile do you know of that are quite deadly to use, that not many people are using? I really would love to know because we did not cover everything in this tier. I just covered the basics of why I believe Weavile is a problematic Pokemon in underuse. But nonetheless, until next time folks, we'll be you turning out. Thanks for watching.